dogs. <laughs> I've always been fascinated by dogs. I used to have one as a kid until one day it ate my mom's chickens and that was the end of it. Today's video is going to be about dogs, but not only dogs, but their relationship and the kind of work that they do with some of the incredible men and women here at Sagera. So let's dive in. My name is Benaya Udiembo. Um, I'm the ranch manager of Sagera. Um, my day-to-day -day job includes uh, overseeing security, um, conservation, livestock, and uh, the administration department of this property. Could you speak more about the ranger teams that you have and the security teams? Yes, it's uh, divided into categories. We have uh, part of them who are armed, and we call them the rapid response team. Uh, these are the people who would be the first line of defense should there be an incident. There's also the dog unit, uh, which has a team of about nine people. Uh, they basically handle the dog team. And then we have the ordinary rangers who scout, who give us information about what they see. They give us live counts of how many wildlife they come about uh, during the day, and that, that, that kind of thing. Why dogs? Conservation is, has a facet of uh, security. You cannot conserve something which you cannot protect and that is why the dogs come in. Uh, they help us do the actual work where they track, um, not only on Segera but on the areas around us. And also, they are also a deterrent uh, to some of the crimes that would have happened. What are the dogs generally used for? We use them to track. We primarily train them to track human scent. So in case there is any reported theft, any crime out around us, we deploy the dog unit. Uh, the dogs are able to trace and give us hints. Even if we don't apprehend the criminal, they allow us to have a picture of how a certain crime was perpetrated and more often than not, in which direction uh, the criminal in question went in. What's so distinct about the humans I believe the dogs in their minds make a sort of a photo once they have uh, picked up uh, any particular individual scent. And as they trail, they would be looking for this person whose photo they have in their minds. Which breed of dogs do you use? We have bloodhounds on Segera. Traditionally, they've been used over the years for uh, tracking. They're very good on, 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 on uh, tracking particularly human scent. And they're also easy to work with. They are not a very aggressive breed, which makes it very easy to deal with them. In my experience with dogs, uh, the females uh, get less distracted compared to the males. They are able to concentrate and just get the job done with minimal fuss. Uh, how are they trained? Starts at a very young age. We started with what we have, well, the ones we have at about uh, three months, and we started off with basic things. Uh, obedience is always the first thing where you, you are able to command the dog uh, to sit, uh, to be on its feet, to lie down. That's where it all starts. Uh, the dog needs to listen uh, and to learn to take commands from the master. That's always the first trick. How important is the relationship between the dog and the ranger? It's a very special bond uh, because the, the dog is able to tell um, the handler's mood. If he's in a joking mood, the dog then will also uh, take everything he says lightly. But if it is a commanded with a firm voice, the dog then uh, translates this, that it's, it's duty time and it's not play time. Is it essential for a handler to have just handle the dog for a long period of time or do they it starts with the, when the dogs are young, because the dogs have personality just like human beings. Uh, each dog has its own you know, temperament, has its own behavior, and it's important for the handler to understand what kind of dog he is handling. Uh, that really makes work easy when they go to the field, as opposed to just getting any handler to be in charge of a dog who they don't have a special bond. Santisana. Okay. 
Pleasure. Kwa tayari kwa siku ya asubuhi kwa matairishi ya kusabisha mbuki setu. Okay. Kinawe kuwa ya kwamba kila chumapili ni siku ya umbu wa kusika na kutewa ile kubonseka kusabishwa kuonyesho welfare ya umbu. Okay. Kwa na handlers, masa, kuangaliwa kama ya wame. Kana ikikuwa siku ya masoizi. So kia mbuki ya siku ya leo, unafungulia umbu uone kama likuwa na majera yeyo pike masaji ndio wanze kukurumba pole pole ndio wanze sikuwa anza kusafi mbwa hapo ndani mwenye anaitwa Miki mbwa wa kwanza mbwa wa pili anaitwa Steve mbwa wa muuzi baba anakuanga na speed kwa mbwa yote anakuanga sniper oh the, the fastest the fastest brother of kupanga 100 meters huwa na kuanga na mbwa hello steady up up come up up steady girl mbole na anafanya perfect kwa kasi yake anafanya vitu sake kwa utaratibu okay. walitoka kwa family moja ambaye ni relatives ni sisters oh. eh, walisaliwa na female mse moja uh-huh. mama moja so hao wote ni sisters hao yeah, wote ni sisters nikifungua sasa hivi wataka kama unaona ni sisters wanakula pamoja uh-huh. wanapendana pamoja uh-huh. yeah na au ni mbo mbo ama ni mbo na serikali yao sasa sio tunaita mbo ukisema china ni umetusi ni ma office hawa so so ni kuwa na heshima kidogo ni heshima kidogo ni heshima serikali mesa yo man <laughs> sasa hawa ni ma office hawa wame satisfy yo na serikali kuu ya kenya kwanza oh they have been satisfied by the government that they can work wana isafanya kasi kila maana so they are police dogs yes. national police dogs yes they have the certificate what rank Ndadavena kupitia hakikisha kwamba ile adui atashapatana naye. Okay. Eh si mbwa hata kama yuko ndani ya pango mtamtoa. Mm. Eh si so, nyumba so. ya orofa juu huko kwa kitanda vyake analala hata kama ni sita yeye atachukua ile moja ile adui. Mungu yuko sawa sana. Sana muangalia tu nasikia. Na jeje na ni exercise kama kuna kwenye miumia. Pia naangalia picha zake kama iko sawa. Ndiyo Anajua wakati sasa na, na mfanyia nini na muangalia hata uh-huh. mwenyewe unaona vile anakaa 
Hataki kuachiliwa. Anapenda stares sana. Anapenda kabisa. Eh. Toki bendu hata hivi. Naona akishika kama yeye anajinyoza. Anajinyoza mguu anajua anaangalia. Sasa anajua anaangalia kila mahali. Hello. Easy. Kuja utoa kwa mwana mmoja ya kuingia nyumba sawa kila umbo unajua anajua nyumba yake. Kiambe keno utaona kila umbo ana identify nyumba yake anaingia ndani anamkoja sasa step ya pili. Kujua ni siku ya leo ya kuosha. Hata anasikia kwa muda ni siku ya kuosha kwa. So tukitoa hapo vile wamecheza umejua kuna jera yote. Mapea command ya kuingia mwana nyumba then kila ndo lana tombo moja moja sasa endelee na kuruma na kuosha. Utaona Steve ataingia katikati miki kushoto cleanse kulia kulia. Wote wanajua. Kila mtu amejua nyumbani. Na kukula kwao wako na hiyo discipline. Okay. Pia chakula na mkoa jana. Pia huyu pia huyu. Quiet wanakula pamoja. Okay. Hakuna mmoja ataingilia sufuria ya chakula sahani ya mwili. Sasa <laughs> boundaries. Boundaries. Taka once kuendelea kupiga, uh -huh. uone vile wataingia manyumba sawa ujue ni officer sawa. Okay. Wako na hiyo tabia nzuri. Sikia manyumba. Hakuna wanajua. Sawa. Kena. Kena. Hello. Go boy. Kena sasa. Kena. Sasa. Kena. Hello. No, <laughs> Kila kitu unatukuma, na ukitrain mtuko mba ni pako kwa 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 kama ingekuwa usiku na kasi yangu anafanya. So pila mimi hapo karibu kumbwa na kufanya madara sa sisi. So anaendanga na ndo la na sio kila mtu anaanda shika. Wao kishika mbwa ata sense hii ni mtu ina gani? Kulia fatu. So akiwa na ndo la akitoa kwa mwana mmoja kumbwa ni koma. Cha kwanza ya pili na tatu na ni kitendo kwake. So ukimwambia kwanza ukiita jina anasikisa amenimeitwa ya pili ni kufanya ya tatu ni kutenda so ameambiwa keno amesikisa ameingia acha kondis mimi yake sasa bila sasa kasi vile ni endless kutoa ma wagonish ngao na kufanya kuruma ambapo na kasi ya leo kuruma kuosha na twende kwa nje sasa pata ile joto kidogo alafu apumzike siku ya leo yote tutaka jua kama hiki kanga sit
sasa tumemaliza kuwa shawa sasa vile wamefeel poa na kwenda kwanja kupile nao ku socialize nao at least wapate hiyo chuo wa warm hiyo maji si kwa mule ndio warudi kwa keno ku relax kwa sababu ni siku yao mbona siku yao kwa friendship na socialize na ndugu kumbwa chuo andola na andola at least wapate ile time free time na kiki kwa nao na socialize kwa kiki Lista tayari tadi umbo na juu leo kwa kwa na team kido kwa kuplay outside walk kido kwa kwa na kwa kwa ya. Asante sana. Hiyo ni mwisho wa masoesi yetu ya leo. Sasa tunarudisha mambo zetu kwa Kenon, kwa Tumsike. Hata Andrew asipate nafasi ya kufua ndio kesho mabuki kazi ya kawaida. Stala. karibu leo asubuhi ni siku ya kazi jana ilikuwa siku ya kurelax kwa umbo kurumao leo asubuhi tumaamka wa kusalama wamekurumiwa wameamka andalas wamecheki siku leo ni kazi ya polisi sasa tunachoma kutoka hapa karigeti uko tayari kuelekea kazi
ya leo tunatuma adui yetu mwenye anaitwa Lokai aenda kujificha mali anapenda kujificha mali popote alafu tunatuma ombo yetu atuonyeshe mali adui ameenda atakanyaka chini tukuje trogote nyaya yake kama vile adui yote akiipa kwa nyumba aita atupe kofia yake ama atupe ngaji ndio ene kinye adui ameando ndio harufu kinye si tunajua kama ndo sagina adui yetu leo ama kanyaka chini tuone vile kiatu iko na ruhi ya adui akikanyaka chini hivyo anachiendea sisi tunafika tunafanya shughuli set tunasushia umbo anatufuata anatutafutia adui mali amelenga kwa sasa hivi tunakuja collect the scent kile tumefikisha naomba tumepata rugu tunafaa gloves wakati andola anapalisha na stendogi anapalisha tiari ya bwana msisha kuna swap kwenye taratu wa ndani nitoe cotton kwenye kopi kwenye taratu safi la scent kwa chini kama chini is swap ndio kitatur correct ya isen kwa Kishano sisha vile tunapalisha clothes ndio tusemix ila rubu ya adui na yandula. Sumba atatapotisha hii ni rubu ya adui akinusa analenga mwendo. sasa hivi tumemaliza kazi mbwa hitu ametutrakia kwa a tumearista adui ndio tumeweka kwa gari mbwa amefanya kazi nzuri kisha rest hivyo tuna reward mbwa yetu chini ya maji adui asione kuna style ndo la sonafanya ku reward dogi kwa maji hapo kwa kasusi smart alafu tunapeleka adui kwa station sasa for further investigation get up I would talk about the dog unit mostly. Uh, my, my, the one closest to my heart is about two and a half years ago when the dog unit helped uh, get back a kid who would gotten lost for about 48 hours. Uh, this child had followed uh, the mother on the way to the river and the mother sent the kid back because it was a distance, it was a, a long walking distance. And the kid for some reason strayed and, and, and couldn't be found for the next, I would say, yeah, between 24 to 48 hours. And when the community called upon us to help, we were able to uh, be shown by the mother the last point where the kid was, was seen. We picked up uh, her footsteps because they were tiny uh, as compared to the adults who had walked in the area. Followed through the first day, it got dark because we got um, the report late in the evening. We couldn't work in the night, so we picked up the trail again early the following morning. And we were able to, found, to find the child uh, all safe and in, 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 in good hands. So, just a final um, message for conservation, the importance of conservation, the role that you have just I think the rangers have a very special uh, place in, in, in conservation uh, spaces. Uh, they keep us safe, they keep the spaces safe, they keep the animals safe, and they keep the operations going. Uh, I think without them, it, it would be very difficult. I, I view it also as a calling, and it, it comes from deep inside. Uh, you know, to be a ranger, you must be passionate about what you do. 
if, if, if you do not feel anything for animals, then it is the wrong job for you. We owe it to our kids to, to keep these spaces safe. I believe a few years later we will be judged very harshly if we do not do what we need to do now. We will lose some key species, uh, we will not have these conservation spaces and our kids will wonder you know, what, what went wrong and who is responsible for it. So the time to fix it is now and the people to fix this mess are us. Uh, at least that we need to pass on to the next generation to leave them a healthy planet. And that's it for this video. I hope that you've been able to appreciate the role that dogs and rangers are playing in conservation. They are sacrificing and putting their lives out there to, you know, just keep our wildlife and wild spaces safe. And uh, yeah, I hope you've learned a thing or two about dogs and uh, the good work that's being done in Kenya. So if you like this video, consider subscribing for more stories like this in the future. So that's it. Over and out. Bye bye. I have been to a police dog. Hee hee hee!